I've been lucky in my life, and I was lucky in a lot of ways. I was lucky to retire as a relatively young man, but I, I still felt like something was lacking, and I started looking around for graduate programs. I had just moved here with my husband. I found this beautiful campus high in the Oakland Hills, and I was so taken with the beauty of this environment. I've been on the faculty of Holy Names University for more than 25 years. And during that time, we have offered masters and certificate programs in culture and spirituality to people who have joined us from around the world. interesting master's program. Wisdom University had an interesting program. And then I, I was reading a magazine and stumbled on an ad for the Sophia Center here at Holy Names University. And my memory of education had a lot to do with memorization and writing papers on what my professors believed. We were encouraged as students here to understand that this wasn't about learning someone else's ideas. This was about using our professors to, to learn how we felt about um, the things we were being introduced to. I would like to invite you to explore the option and possibility of joining us here at Sophia Center. We say that Sophia Center is a wisdom school that celebrates earth, art, and spirit. By wisdom, we mean the capacity to listen with the ear of the heart, to be receptive not just to audible sounds, but to the beauty and the brokenness all around us, to be sensitive, receptive, to have an openness to life in all of its manifestations. The professors, both in the weekend program and who are here on a daily basis, have given me a gift uh, through their own passion and scholarship. After the first class, <laughs> I remember running down the hallway to greet my husband, uh, who had come to get me, and jumping in the air and saying, this is wonderful. My brain is so happy to be working like this again, to be thinking at this level. I had been um, in Dr. Eric Weiss's class on conscious evolution. You know, every generation and every person who comes to Sophia Center has particular gifts. Here the new story, the new cosmology is awakening that we can actually fulfill our destiny, that we can feel satisfied in our lives. We're excited about the revelatory source of the new science that puts us through our empirical experience in touch with the ultimate mystery of life. That is what, prime, what Thomas Aquinas years ago called the primary revelation. We, we need to become exegetes, literate, in being able to see in the natural world divine communication. And to be able to read that just like we read the sacred texts of the Bible, the Old and New Testament, the Hebrew Bible, the Quran, or other sources of sacred texts. 
We are here to do what we call the great work of our time. Since we live in a world of so many spiritual opportunities, so many churches, denominations, and so many uh, ways to express ourselves spiritually, sometimes it's really hard to find your own self, your own attitude your, towards the divine. And um, I would say that Sophia Center helps in this particular dim dimension of our lives a lot. It brings us back to our own traditions and uh, it brings us back to um, our own roots. Uh, it brings us, us back to what we really are. Teilhard de Chardin and later Thomas Berry, in their writings, said that there are three dynamic principles that are present everywhere in the universe, in all of our lives. Number one, communion. Everything is interconnected with everything else. The word that we've chosen here at Sophia Center to describe that interconnectedness, that communion, is Earth. We also celebrate art. And this comes from a, a second principle that was observed and verified by Teilhard and Thomas. We call it differentiation. And spirit. You know, he said, I go down into my inmost self and there I find the wellsprings which I dare to call my life. That transformative formative energy is what we're called to express. We're here, I always say that when you come to Sophia, we hope for and promise transformation.